back in Anaheim, California. Al Troutley along with Tim Daggett, Elfie Schlegel, and Andrea Joyce. If the Chinese men simply perform on the high bar up to their potential, they will win this gold medal. They've got that kind of a cushion. All they have to do is avoid that one big mistake. And it's three releases. Remember, Coach Huang Yubin was most fearful of floor exercise, then high bar, because you got to let go of the bar. Wang Zhu. He was also fearful that the American crowd would be very boisterous. They brought in speakers and had loud background music piped into the gym as these athletes trained to prepare for the anticipated loud noise. Here comes his only release skill. Right on. That's a nice reaction from the crowd. I, I don't know how you need speakers to battle that. It's just simple applause and respect for what they just saw. Yeah, I think they were, like I said, fearful that they would be on the floor at the exact same time the Americans were. And Blake well, that's Wilson a story. knocks out a ring routine, and the crowd goes crazy right in the middle of a release skill. Yeah. But They're this starting to feel it now. This Chinese team has really done their best to eliminate all the areas of super risk on high bar. What we saw from Alexei Nemov, for example, we saw six major release skills, four of them done in combination. That's how he gets all his bonus. The Chinese are doing intricate turns, combining them so they don't have to let go of the bar. And I have to say, for the audience, they much prefer the high-flying release skills because they don't understand the intricate moves. To Jing Aowei, uh, the lineup here, this final rotation, we'll be seeing China, then Japan and Russia, followed by the United States. And I'll tell you, doing the intricate turns, that, yes, it's difficult, but it's not high bar, in my opinion. It's a little bit like a loophole in the tax code. They found something like this combination right here. Gives him five tenths of a point. Here's his release. Whoa! Oh, that, that was very much right on his fingertips. Holds on to it. <laughs> High fiving the coaches. When did we last see this? Only one more solid score to come. <laughs> nice dismount here. So again, Tim, what you're saying is they're playing within the rules, yeah. but they're playing it safe. Oh, they definitely are. And they're sticking their landings. They made a conscious decision. They have, years ago, they had athletes doing some of the most spectacular releases in the world. Now they, they just don't do them anymore. They're not giving away tenths here at all. 9.525, and now Tang had been. I'd say this guy grabs the bar one time, and I'm thinking that it's it's almost a done deal. In the team qualification, he scored nine six three seven. So if he gets something like that here, final Chinese team member to go. Here is his release skill. Oh. Very conservative. This is nice. This is difficult stuff. It's just a release. No matter how often you practice it, there's still there's still a large margin of error. But look at the form. It's beautiful. One dismount. Now it's 
Catch us if you can, and it doesn't seem as though anybody can. They just never had to absorb that really bad score. The United States, for example, had to overcome an early 8-9. Lots of support up there in the crowd here at Arrowhead Pond. His one and only release skill, and as I mentioned, super form. Nine seven two five, and they are giving off the look of a team that thinks it's official. So now the battle is behind China, the United States, and Japan. And can Russia do something to save a little face here in Anaheim, California? We're coming to the close of the team finals in the World Championships. For the Chinese men not to take gold medals home as a souvenir from their trip to the United States back across the Pacific Ocean, the judges here would have to write down numbers they haven't written down in years, like nine nines and tens. So the battle begins for silver and bronze. Takahiro Kashima for Japan, and it's really close to between them and the United States. It is actually less than four tenths of a point, and when I watched the teams in training, I thought that Japan might have, they might have the best high bar team in the world. Beautiful gymnastics, beautiful lines. They do some releases, but they also have those intricate elements, and Tim, this guy will make it very interesting because he scored 9-7 in the first day. He's got one of these big release skills coming up right here. Beautiful extended grab on that Kovac. He has a lightness about him when he performs. So far, this is bang on. This is beautiful. Double wow. It's beautiful. Like I said, he scored 9-7 in the first day. He's going to make this really tough. Yeah, he could get better than that, believe it or not. That could be Kashima's best moment of the day in this team final. And now, what of Russia? The Russian men are over at the parallel bar. Alexei Bondarenko. It's had a fairly consistent day, just not a spectacular day. 935, 935, 9425. That's a very nice combination. Coming up right here, he'll do a huge straddle front. It's all about putting skills together to bring in those big bonus scores. Very clean exercise so far. Some of the best gymnastics we've seen from him in a very long time. We go back to the Japanese contingent. Kashima gets a 9.712. His best score of the day. And for Bondarenko, the day is done. His best score of the day, 9637. And now a, a huge ovation, and rightfully so, for royalty in this sport, Alexei Namov. They changed the rules almost after every Olympic Games, and when they did, Alexei's routine that he was performing had virtually no value. Had to learn this skill called the peach basket. He does it in a variety of ways. He does it very well. He's got a style about him that few gymnasts are ever able to capture. I'd say he's relearned the skills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's a showman, too. 
No question about it. This guy is certainly one of the absolute all-time greats. Maybe even as high as top three of all time. Maybe even higher. He's, he's remarkable.